Austin and I am back with some more mommy tips and some more mommy talk. Today we're going to be discussing the top five things I wish I had known before I had kids. This is going to be good. And just sidebar, I know you all, you guys are like, why is she having a hat? Taking by my girls down. Gonna have new hair next week. But do not forget to subscribe. Click, 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 click. The button to the right of your screen. Don't forget to ring the bell so you get all your updates about every time I post, okay? Let's get into it. I'm excited. Woo. One, morning sickness is real. Okay, before I had kids, before I even got pregnant, I really thought moms would just use that as an excuse to just be weak and you know and all that over there i was like okay okay y'all doing a little much but when i got pregnant i you know i had to i have to apologize to all the moms in the world who i thought were faking it it is real so people please prepare yourself for morning sickness not everybody doesn't get it i didn't necessarily have it with my first one i was a little sick but with when that second one hit oh brother that brother took me through so morning sickness is real Understand it before you have children and prepare yourself for it. Two, you're not going to get everything that you need at the baby shower. That was one thing. My husband and I were preparing to buy a house when I first got pregnant with my first son. And even though I had an amazing baby shower, realize that people are going to get you things for a newborn. They're not going to get you things for no two-year-old, okay? So you're probably going to get things, prepare to get things for the first three, four, maybe six months of the baby's life, okay? Um, I was blessed. I had diapers up until my Carson was nine months. That was a blessing. Sometimes that doesn't always happen. But one tip that I have for you is invite moms and invite older people. They get you really, really good gifts. Moms, because we already know what it is. We know what you need. We know what you're going to need. And older people, they just always give really good gifts. They're going to give you good money, good money, and they're going to give you good gifts. Young people, people with no kids, they come in just to eat. So expect that, okay? Three, how expensive it is to have a child. And I'm not even talking about just the expenses that you're going to accrue just with diapers and clothes, I'm talking about the doctor bills. Oh my gosh, do your research and make sure that you're calling the hospitals and checking out your insurance plan, all those things to check, make sure that you are aware of how much you're gonna be paying out to actually have a baby. A lot of people do not even think about that. You don't think about it until you get that bill in the mail, but please check into it and make sure that you're aware of how expensive it is to actually have a baby in the hospitals. You're also gonna have your expenses once they come out. That number is, it's no, it's no point even, even trying to um, calculate that number. It's never gonna end. So it's very expensive to have kids. Realize it, understand it, own it before you have kids. Four, things you need versus things you want. I wasted a lot of money on things that I just thought were cute. Things that you just like, oh, I want that or whatever. At my baby shower, I got so many gifts. I got $1,000 in just gift cards. In just gift cards, $1,000, not even counting all the gifts that I got. I spent a lot of that money on things that I don't even use. I just have, and I'm actually gonna be giving it away soon. So, one, being a diaper genie. Just throw the diapers away, y'all. Just throw them away. I, and I'm not trying to put the diaper genie people out of business, but just throw them away. You don't need a diaper genie. It's, you never, after, after the baby gets old, you're still going to smell that boo-boo even through that thing. Throw it outside. Another thing being um, a wipe warmer. Y'all, I understand the baby is small when they're, when they're little and you may want the wipes to be warm. It's okay. The doctors, the hospitals ain't even using wipe warmers. Wipe that baby's booty and put that diaper on him and he's going to be fine. Okay? So understand what you need versus what you want. You're going to need diapers. You're going to need a car seat. You're going to need stroller you're gonna need bottles <laughs> those things you're gonna need not things that you just want now I'm not saying that you can't just kind of splurge a little bit if you're a first time mom have a good time but just spend spend wisely and understand that some of these things that you buy some of these things are just for luxury purposes they're not necessarily essential and five enjoy your kids I heard somebody say one and it was so true it seems like the years fly by but the days take forever. It seems like I hear my son calling my name 
all day for like 100 hours for like literally no reason. But I would not trade it for anything. I love hearing him call my name and although it gets on my nerves at times, I love just hearing him call me and knowing that he needs me because there's gonna come a time when they're not gonna need you and they're not even gonna want you around. And I don't wanna get to that place just yet. I enjoy my children wanting me around and wanting to be with me and wanting to lay on me and all those things are, that are precious so enjoy your kids while they're small those days are precious 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 and very just so slim they're going to be adults longer than their babies so enjoy them while they're young all right mommies that's all i've got for today my top five things that i i wish i had known before having kids okay i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something i hope you just got some notes or I hope it was just fun to just kind of watch some of the things that I wish I had known before I had kids, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Click it, click it, click it. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get all your updates about when I post, okay? And if your kids have not told you today, I'm gonna do it every time I post, you are a great mom and they appreciate all that you do. And women, do not forget that a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed. You all have a good week. Love's all over.